Welcome, welcome everyone. It's time for more Baldur's Gate 3, where last time we finished off with the final bits and pieces before, well, the final bits and pieces, so to speak. I had two more quests to do, Dribbles the Clown and Finding Thrumbo. We started with Thrumbo, found him not in a boat or even near a boat, in fact in a building. I mean, the building was near a boat, but the Thrumbo was not near a boat. He was in a closet. We learned a bit more about... Uh, uh, Mystic Carrion and the fact that he apparently is a mummy. We also learned that Thrumbo had the final... I say final. I found two jars. Thrumbo, inside him, was the third jar, which was the heart. We learned that in order to defeat Mystic Carrion, we needed to break the jars. So we did. Went back to Mr. Carrion, he attacked us, we killed them, and that was it. So, that was lovely. We also found that the remaining pieces of dribbles, we brought them back to the circus. They were very happy about me bringing them back, and eventually they will now be able to leave. And uh, while there, I got a statue! A nude statue of me, in my most beautiful pose ever. And I do enjoy the fact that we got the, the leaf in the very <laughs> important placement. And what does it say? True hero of Baldur's Gate. And it has a stat, which is... Just look at those cheekbones. What? It's not a statue anymore. It's very much alive. Invulnerable and permanently armed. Creature can't be disarmed. Well, that's interesting. That it comes up as an actual... Okay. So basically what they've done here, I think, they have taken this uh, model and simply did, uh, simply done a, a flesh to stone thing. <laughs> so this is actually a real model, if you would. Anyway, that's fun. I now have that. Good. So, what are we doing in this episode? Well, you guessed it. We are starting the final bits of this game. If we look in the journal... The only things I have left is the main quest, my personal quest, and Lazelle and uh, Gale. And Lazelle's and Gales, they're not going to be done uh, until Lazelle's is when Orpheus is freed, or not, I suppose. And Gale is when we defeat the Elder Brain. So those are not going to be done until then. So, uh, yeah. I have no idea how long this is going to take, by the way. This might be the final episode right here, but... Knowing that we are going to have to go into the artifact, I'm assuming stuff is going to happen. And stuff might not take uh, that short of a time. So it might be one episode, but probably not. And it probably is closer to two episodes. Three episodes? Mm, probably not. We are rested. We are ready to go. Can I, by the way, I'm just going to check. I've done this fairly recently. I can do a few ingredients, but can I do any health potions? I can do a healer. Three greater. I'll take three greater. No superiors, though. And now no uh, smaller ones. But three greater, I'll take that. You have the big ones. That's good. You have only one greater. You have only one greater. You should. We'll, we'll split it even, I think. So, one here over to you. Uh, and one here over to you. But considering the fact that I'm pretty damn good and I can deal a bunch of damage and have a bit of utility, I'm going to keep three for myself. So, we can dump this, by the way. We can dump... You know what? There is one potion that we're going to check before we do anything. So, a skill that I'm using quite a lot, Mask Your Wounds, that is a level 5. Right, I do not have... I do not have that elixir, I think. Because I have elixirs for getting bonus... Uh, bonus spell slots. But I don't think I have any for level 5, so do I? Almost this resistance uh, initiative. Where are those? Because I'm pretty damn sure that I have them. Hold on. Bane, flying, flying. Put those together. Uh, speed, which I haven't used. Should probably use some of those. These are three turns. So armor class advantage, saving throws, movement speed, dexterity saving throws, that is. Uh, here we go, here we go. Level 4 spell slot, I have two. Not bad, but not enough. So, level 4 doesn't give me that. 
I do get prayer of healing, but we can only do that outside of combat. So that doesn't help too much, but obviously a bit of healing couldn't be bad, I suppose. We have Polymorph Dimension Door and Freedom of Movement, but again, yeah, we'll see. I'll try to remember that I have that. That is uh, that is a supreme elixir. That's why it was down here. So anyway, anyway, anyway. Never a dumb I think moment. we are as ready as we can be. I'm not going to fuss too much about this. I mean, I could go and, like, buy some potions, buy some scrolls, etc. But uh, you know what? Let's not overthink this. I'm going to go and do what it is that we need to do. Which is go back into the Undercity. Go to the place where we were first with the Cranium Rats. Because that apparently is where the brain is. We need to go there, check what's up, and... Uh, well, set the final bits in motion. Alright, here we come. The intrepid adventurers. Off to the Cranium Rats. Give them a poke. They're looking very... Cranium-y. So, hopefully I'm not going to have to fight these guys as a starting point. We are in friendly territories. So we can absolutely rest here too. Evading the Elder Brain. That sounds like important reading for me. Let's have a bit of a read. We did get a waypoint here too. So, the Emperor has been interrogated by Gortash. I don't know if I've seen the Previous parts, I've seen one part. Have I seen two parts? I don't know. Gortash, when we captured you, you were a rogue, an autonomous elitid beyond the power of the other brain that, that transformed you. That is. Oh, we haven't I read this? No, I have read this. I'm pretty sure I've actually read that. Uh, that felt. Oh! You're just standing there looking at me. That's kind of upsetting. So, okay. We have a skiff that we apparently need to take. Well, that's. That doesn't feel good, does it? So, alright then, let's jump on this boat and uh, see what the hell is gonna happen. Well, what is gonna happen is, once you enter this place, there is no turning back. You will no longer have access to your camp or the items stored there. New players will not be able to join your party. Do you wish to proceed? Oh, yes, it's the final bits. I am ready to proceed. Pristine darkness in every direction. Silence, but for the gentle, rhythmic slap of water on rock as your vessel cuts through. An overwhelming force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here. You. Born. Through. Quiet. Anomaly. Erase. Remove. Extinguish. Why did everyone look so sad? <laughs> everyone looked very sad there. It's infused with magic. The brain is here. Uh -huh. And also, why did it look like I was the only one swimming there in the beginning? <laughs> they did arrive though, so that's good. And now we are most assuredly not in friendly territory. Well, that kind of figures. All right then. 
get up there, obviously. Torches, should we need them? We do not, so okay. I'm still very curious as to what we or what we picked up the nether stones for, because we're apparently not going to use them. Not really. Oh, thank you, game. Healing potions. Mind reading. Mind reading, you say. How long does that last for? Until long rest. You know what? I shall drink mind reading. Absolutely. Uh, I shall give you these, because uh, bloody hell if you don't utilize them. But, uh, Ah, you already had some. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, you, you utilize those quite a lot, Karlak. So you need to be alive, by the way. Much as I need to be alive, Karlak needs to be alive. Because bloody hell, she does a lot of damage. So someone's clearly been here. We have inventory report from someone, from L. Goods delivered upstairs. Terrazul, six pouches. Dream Mist, 14 vials. Wyvern Toxin, two bottles. G Cube Lube, two double bottles. Basilisk Oil, three bottles. Spectator, I won. Negotiations. The talks with those three are going nowhere. I don't know what they want, but I'm close to just cutting contact. No good comes from negoti negotiating with the deranged. Yes. That, that, I've, I've, uh, I've explored that uh, reality myself. Yes, thank you. Hasn't really worked out for... Well, I mean, it worked out for me. It just did not work out for them that much. Oh, hello. Intellect Devourer. Alive. Waiting. Okay. Preparing. Calculating. Evolving. Mind broken, you say? That, getting stronger. that doesn't sound good. It's close. It has to be. We do know that, yes. So we have a headless corpse. Lovely. We can take us. Yes, we can. Why would why would we not be able to go there? I can fly there. It's an absolutely fine game. There we go. Can absolutely get over here. Over there. Empty craze, you say. It was empty, but it was a dirt mound here. Gotta love a good dirt mound. What can we find? Hopefully more healing potions. <laughs> uh, no healing potions. But uh, that's really not the only thing I re need right now. Neither is that. Uh, a note, also from L. I don't know why I'm always the one being sent to smuggle goods into High Hall. I value my neck just as much as everyone else here. And those traps are just as dangerous as the day they were installed. It's only fair that I get a danger bonus for this work, so if you find this cache, it's because I'm keeping it here for my retirement. Well, I'm sad to say, but you're... Well, actually, that is the cache. This wasn't. No, that's correct. So already I can say that uh, this is going to be more than one episode, because, well, we're already 20 minutes in, and I don't think this is going to be done in 40 minutes. Which is the normal length of my videos. And I don't think I'm going to necessarily push the length of this video, just because we're at the end. It kind of very much depends on what's going to happen. But we are going to go into the uh, prison, that's for damn sure, at some point. Now we have multiple way oh bloody hell okay this is not a small area gotcha. so in fact are we even gonna get to like the final bits in this episode or am i just gonna be exploring this piece being attacked by the brain dominated controlled crowd okay so the constitution say what does that do because <laughs> i I can't see that it really does much. Okay. I can go over here if I want to. No, I cannot go there if I want to. What did that? Oh, no, no, that, that was just the edge of the, the thing. Okay, so we're... Okay. Okay. Well, let's see more... Organic matter here. More than I saw the other route. So we're gonna go for the other route first, I think. That's all fine. Yeah, we're gonna go here first, I think. I'm gonna be keeping a lookout on the minimap. Just make sure that I don't miss stuff. Okay, we do have an old ledger here. 
This is a ledger of contraband merchandise from a team of knights of the shield smugglers with additional notes to the effect that under pressure from the newcomer Gortash for smuggling into the upper city, they've been forced to fall back on using this long unused route, a subterranean creek that connects with the Kiontar, which is... <laughs> that did not work out well for you guys. Not at all. I suppose we could look through these things. I mean, you were smugglers. Did you smuggle anything useful? Nope. That's rotten cheese. I mean, rotten cheese is good, but still. Not on the, not anything I want right now. So were you the one that I just checked the thing? So we have a metal trunk, usually good. Yeah, a bunch of arrows. We'll take a bunch of arrows. A heavy chest. We'll look into that. Bit of money again. The game has very clearly stated that, you know what? This is the final bit. I'm not gonna be doing anything more than this. Why would you give me a bunch of gold at this point? That doesn't make sense, does it? Okay. What was I able to do what, with that? Elixir of Psychic Resistance. That could be useful, yes. So happy to be collecting some of those. Intellect Glutton. Ooh. So now where am I going? Am I going around? Yes, I am going around to the same place as before. Lovely. So this is actually a good place to get a bunch of brains. Now, I don't know if I have the other things for that potion. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we, oh, we might actually... Damn it, maybe I do want to shout to my people. Hello. Lead on, soldier. This nasty hole is nothing on us. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, but uh, but uh, Shadowheart, hello. I'll need a long soak in a bath to rid myself of the feeling of this place. Can I count on you to scrub my back? I do realize something, by the way. We haven't slept with Shadowheart, have we? Like, properly. Should I have talked to her before we went here? Okay. Well, could be my last chance to kiss you, I suppose. Hardly. We're going to win this. Understand? But no sense missing the opportunity. Oh, let's have a bit of a snog here before we continue in front of our friends who are not at all embarrassed and are not looking... No, no, Karlak is just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, she nodded. She was like, oh, yeah, do it, baby. I'll look forward okay. to the next last kiss. And the one after that. I mean, there's gonna be a last, uh, a last kiss at some point. So, okay. Yes, you can always have my back. Good. Something for us to look forward to, once all's said and done. Absolutely. So, uh, we could ask about how they are faring, apparently. Okay. Honestly? I think self-reflection may be the enemy just now. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Safer to just not think and keep forging ahead. I think that's sensible. So, Karlak, you also Lead had on, a thing. Are you this hanging in? Fuck yes, soldier. I'm burning hard and fast and ready to fight a big old brain. Well, you're positive. I like it. Astarian, you're probably not uh, as positive. Honestly, I was expecting an all-powerful brain to have a lair that was a little uh, flashier. Not immaculately designed or anything, just to have a sense of drama to it. Well, you are your charming you as always, so how are you faring? Oh, as well as can be expected when facing down the end of the world. Uh-huh, and do you think we can win this? Uh, I can't say for sure. <laughs> but we've come through a lot already. It would hardly do to fail now. <laughs> I mean, that's the spirit. I like it. So, okay. Uh, from here. It's not like... I mean, I can get there. Absolutely. But no one else can. <laughs> so that's weird. Also, ooh. Listelia, would you have been the L from the little letters then? Yes. You have Duralius, Duralius teddy bear. We'll pick that up. For no real reason. I don't even know who Duralia is. We have a hand axe, but that's not so important. Well, okay then. We didn't actually get to go. And now I now I'm curious as to why that uh, rock base is there. 
Like, why are we able to climb down here? Could everyone have jumped here? That hardly seems plausible. But now I am curious. Is there... Is there... There's nothing here that I can dig up, is it? It's, it's just rock. This is not dirt or anything. So it wouldn't make sense for that to be a thing. Nope. I don't know exactly what this is about. We're going back up and we're going to move on. And yes, indeed. A whole bunch of stuff to explore. Oh, oh. Ambush, you say? Ambush, you say? Okay. Where's the ambush? We're gonna get into a fight and I wanna be... Where's the ambush? Hold on. We just said... Good place for an ambush. It's not you guys, is it? It's not the headless corpses, is it? Can I just... Oh, no, no, no. I just wanted to... Oh. Nah, never mind. Um... Okay. Is it further up, maybe? So I'm not seeing anything here. Not anything on the minimap. Oh, bloody hell, that gave me a jump start. Oh, hey. <laughs> I mean, they're only level 1s apart from the gluttons, but... Ha ha ha! Screw you, game. Okay, well, we can deal with this. I can do my favorite spell in the whole wide world, which is this one. Let's place it as far up as we can. Get that down, you're gonna die. Get over to Astarion. You know what? If you use a bow and an arrow of lightning on you guys. Okay, I see that will work. Can I get all of you? Can I get three of you? Let's go here. See, that worked rather well. There we go. Perfect. Good job, Astarian. Uh, you can. Caustic Brine. Maybe don't stand in the Caustic Brine. But go over here to sort of keep you occupied. So let's, I mean, if I use my spells, that's fine, because I can just do a short rest, or we can have potions, etc, etc, so that's fine. So, as for you, yeah, why don't you also go for this guy, just to stab a bit, good. Uh, don't activate Frenzy, well, well. don't know how many times we're gonna have to fight here. So just kill them normally, aye, aye. look over to this guy. There we go. So you're gonna try to go for Karlak? Yes. Ship damage, but that's fine. Yeah, you, all of you. Oh, bloody hell. There we go. Okay, and the ward. Fine, so there's gonna be a bunch of them coming in. We're not the strongest uh, team with regards to AUE attacks, are we? Like, not at all. Engorged. Burst. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Ow. All right. These are problematic. I don't think you made it all the way, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna go for a few daggers on you. Lovely. And then I'm gonna retreat a little bit. I'm gonna stand sort of here-ish. All right, then. Uh, we do not want to be in melee combat here. You can come down. Uh, you know what? That's fine. If you want to do uh, a melee attack, I'm okay with that. We are immediately losing a bunch of health here, which is not optimal. Not optimal at all. Uh, shoot at this guy. Critical miss. That's not what you should have done. Um, you... Hits, it's that's hot fine. In here. Those are all there. Okay, I'm really sorry, Karlak. You don't have a good ranged attack. I'm ever so sorry, but you're gonna have to go up and do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm very sorry about that. 
is in the air. It infects everything it touches. That it does. Why did you step into the cloud of daggers? Stop stepping into the cloud of daggers for the love of God. Alright then. Well, you can use this spell now. Less restoration as a level 2. Or sorry, prayer of healing. That's a little bit. It's only level 2. We don't really care about level 2 spells all too much. Now, Harlak, you've already lost so much health. I don't want to use potions right now. It's okay. Put two of these, level three, Ryan's on you. You're gonna have to deal with that amount of health. I'm sorry. It's all right then. Okay, even though they were very tiny, they pulled off a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Okay, anything... Oh, right, I can obviously loot them. Don't forget the loot. Bloody hell. Okay, well, you don't have anything. You did. Okay, so some of them have. Okay, you know what? Stop it. <laughs> Stop moving about. You're clearly not experienced in moving about. So don't do it. Okay. Fairly random whether or not they have loot. These lovely little brains. Okay. I'm not gonna... Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. That's that's enough. So there we go. Everyone can follow. I can now do a bit of alchemy. I can do that. So what was it that I could do? Uh, yes. I can do a bunch of these, as a matter of fact. Hmm. That could be interesting. Psychic damage. I'm gonna... I'm gonna craft four of those. Did I craft four of them? Yes, I did. I mean, that doesn't feel uh, like a bad idea, does it? To have psychic damage for the fight against a very, very psychic Elder Brain. <laughs> feels, uh, feels appropriate. And it almost feels like the game is giving you these brains to properly be able to do that, so to speak. So, yeah. Anyway, ow. Still don't know what I get from uh, completing the constitution save. That's fine. Okay, we're getting to some structure here. Lovely. And, uh, <laughs> okay. I think that might be where we're going, uh, potentially. I'll check the door first, I think. Because it very much feels like the Elder Brain is gonna sort of pop out of the brine, doesn't it? Like, a lot. So what's behind this door? Do I have a key? I do not have a key. Do I have lockpicking? I do have lockpicking. Is it difficult? It's not difficult. It is, in fact, quite easy. All right. Good. What well, now? I'm not sure why this is even locked, but uh, there we go. There we have Druralius with the teddy bear. Okay. Oh, for the love of God. Do you know what I forgot? Damn it. <laughs> do I go back? I don't think I do. Of course, it's also too damaged here. Oh, okay. I could possibly have done that with the other guy. But okay. So what do we have? Angelic Reprieve. That's nice. Another one of those. Hastily written note from Druralius. I'm sorry, Listelius. I held him off as long as I could. That thing has been digging into my mind like a burning wick and melting a candle. Its voice cuts through my eardrums and into my spine. The others, what was done to them, I can't face it. We fought so hard to chisel, out, uh, chisel our place into Baldur's Gate. Please forgive me for not being as strong. Get out of here for me. Yeah. Can't really compete with another brain, can you? Nope, not really. So, alright then. Why don't we go and have a chat with the elder easy, brain? Please. See what he wants. And before we go down, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop a quick save. Because bloody hell am I bad at saving. And I don't want to redo all of that stuff. So, Elder Brain. Oh, bloody hell. Thank you. 
I'm not going to be coming to lift it, don't worry. I have- oh, I can Ah, react- it's only reactions we can, right? I th thought it said we can't use actions. Okay, now I'm stunned properly, though. We can now move again. Oh! And it's just the constitution saves, that's fine. Here we go. silence. The air is stale and putrid. It's close. Have the stones ready. Your blood slows. Your senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. you are here. You think that by killing the Chosen and taking the Netherstones, you can destroy me. You are wrong. messing with your mind. Don't listen to it. Use the stones. And that is of course what we will do. The strength must have all my previous physical form or intelligence. Your mind is yours command. Block all possible possibility of failure. Or constitution. You've survived this far. Trust yourself. Dominate the rain. I'm not good with any of these. <laughs> Minus one plus two plus one. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna fail this so hard. <laughs> well, I have inspiration. I have inspiration. So I can re-roll a few times. Let's see if I can get lucky immediately. I did not. Well, that's good. So, okay. The bad roll has been used. So let's roll it again and roll better. Okay. I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. Only five away. So if we roll once more, now we should get uh, now we should get the good roll, right? Now we should get the good roll. Well, two, two, yeah, I mean, okay. You know what, we tried, but we do need to do it a little bit better. So, a little bit more than 15 would be good. Let's say 16, with a two and a four, and we got it. <laughs> now that's, wow, <laughs> that's a bit poetic, just... Higher and higher and higher and higher until we get it. Lovely. By eliminating Kethric, Orin, and Gortash, you have simply unbound me. Exactly as I intended. The crown is now mine to command. Mine alone. Don't listen to it. Focus on the crown. As much as I don't necessarily like uh, the Emperor, I am willing to trust him on this. <laughs> Gotta be honest. So we have a Dexterity, Wisdom and Charisma shake, and Charisma, well that I am good at. Not much better, but I am good. I can also bow down. No, obviously not. We're gonna try a Charisma roll. But of course it's also 25. <laughs> Oh, game, are you kidding me? I need to roll. 
Well, basically a 20. Uh, well, we'll try it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I have one re-roll, but after that, it's it's done. And I'm not gonna save scum on this occasion. What happens, happens. So let's see if I can get a crit. I did not plan this, okay? I did not plan to crit success that final roll. Just after I said to crit it. I did not do that. I'm happy that I did, but I did not plan this. Nor did I cheat anything. Okay, let's hope that there isn't a third, uh, a third skill check here. The crown is not my weakness. It is what made me what I am. I needed the crown to build an army. I needed the chosen to bring it to me. They would not have surrendered it freely, so I gave them what they wanted. Power. Just enough that they would play their part in my design. Their part has ended. The next orders will be mine. I won't allow it. Again, dominate it! I thought as much as going to be a third one because, well, there are three of these. Oh, <laughs> yeah. May not be easy, but it's always supposed to be possible. Do it again. We're not going to do this. It's very sad. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> what is it? 30. I can't do that. Like, a po unless I get a critical success, it's impossible. Like, literally impossible. So as much as it was fun that I got a critical success in the final roll that I was able to sort of re-roll, obviously we're not going to do that again. So, yeah. It was fun while it lasted. So sadly, we're going to get to see what happens if we don't succeed in the rolls. Would it be nice to not re-roll, was it four times or three times the first time around? Chosen sent my thralls to retrieve the prison. Who do you think let the Emperor slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you to me? Were you a part of its plan? I only needed one Netherstone loosened from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. You brought all three back to me. In doing so, you have liberated me! This was your role. And it is complete. Now you will witness the grand design. We have to stop it! It's now or never! That is true. And also, the question becomes, why me? Because, well... Who am I? Absolutely no one. So exactly why did anyone choose me? I don't know. So I have a bunch of stuff that I can try to dominate it with. It's obviously going to be Charisma, which is a little bit hilarious. I'm going to be seducing the other brain, basically. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do this unless we get a 99. <laughs> hmm. Well, if I roll a crit. Wow. <laughs> I like that one. It's, it's very pointedly saying that, hey, you're not going to be able to do this. But if we get a critical success... Are you shitting me? I'm sorry about that, but are you shitting me? Is this even going to work? Is this... Is this supposed to happen? Was I supposed to get a critical hit? Or critical success? As I haven't done this and I have seen no one do this, I don't know, but now it kind of feels like that was a meant to get critical success because of the fact that the difficulty class was 99 and that, that is impossible to do. 
I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but uh, let me know if that was, you know, something that was supposed to happen. If not, wow. <laughs> wow. Pulled you out just in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain, no longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. It has become something more. A nether brain. And that's potentially very bad, yes. Okay, so as I said, maybe not one episode's th episode this. Now I'm w wondering if it's even three episodes. We shall see. But okay, let's finish at least uh, this little discussion here. And you did pull me out uh, too soon. I crit crit critical success did, but also, even with the critical su success, I could not do it. So I'm almost thinking that that critical success was meant to be, maybe. Uh, and the fact that nothing even happened, well, that's a bit sad. I nearly had it, you damn bastard, but no, 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 actually I did not. So, any chance you expected this? I was as surprised as you were. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. All right, then. So, we're back in the prism. We knew that we would be getting into the astral prism. So, uh, here we are again. We have a few more of you guys. Devourer. Why, why are you in a puff of smoke? 
Why are you in a puff of smoke? I don't know. We're gonna put a cut in here, as you might have understood. Okay, I'm not gonna loot all of these guys. Bloody hell, there's a lot of them. Why, why do you have a lot of intellect devourers in your little prison? Why do you have them? Plastic bubble I will pick up, though. So, Githyanki Raider here. Were you here before? I don't think so. We have some acid. So obviously what's gonna happen now is we're gonna get into the point of... Uh, your enemy. We're gonna get to the point of uh, Orpheus here. And... Excuse me. What the hell just happened? Okay. Did I jump up on this and then fall through the ground? Ha. Huh. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Where did my soul echo go? <laughs> Where's the soul echo then? There we go. So... Okay, c c can I revive myself? Target's out of sight, there we go. Select this. How do I... How do I resurrect myself? I'm gonna have to reload, don't I? Oh, for the love of God, game. How do I... So echo. Yeah, but a as it's there... You can't get to it. Where, where the hell even is it? Is it inside the ground as well? Is, is, that, is that where it is? So if I go... Yeah, it's it's inside the ground, isn't it? Oh, for the... Uh, that is... That is... Uh, well, I did save. I did do a, a quick save. Oh, no, 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 wait. No, that, that, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. No, it's actually... F it is further down. Where? Why can't I see it? Why can't I see it? And why is the camera being so god-awful slow? Why can't I... see it? Here, here we go! Oh, bloody hell. No, get up again. Get up. Oh. Oh, no, no, don't don't fall, camera. Oof. Why can't I see it? What the hell is that? Uh, anyway, why can't I... Why can I not see it? This is so strange. Well, this is a bit of a letdown, isn't it? It's because it's... I mean, it is there. It's supposed to be here. So I can see it if I click on me not if I target is too far well isn't that just grand <laughs> ah. all right redo everything get back here and uh, well this was fun never mind the game was kind enough to auto save i'm back not dead can hopefully jump down here without going through the damn world lovely let me just uh let me just uh walk forward a little bit jump down here there we go position ourselves so that we, in the next episode, can have a chat with the Emperor as well as Orpheus over here. It's looking mighty cool, that. But uh, the question is, do we free Orpheus or do we not? Because I have been uh, sort of contemplating that a little bit. And, uh, well, I suppose we can talk about that in the next episode. Let's end on, well, not so much of a cliffhanger necessarily, as just the continuation of the end. I thought as much, it would not just be one episode. Bloody hell, this is gonna take some time, isn't it? Which is fine, because it is the ending. It's supposed to be a bit grand. 
So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue this in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.